Nandola from UFRJ, who is going to talk about the Hardy and Bradley inequalities for two manifolds. Thank you, David. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the organizers for, for the invite, for inviting me. And uh, first, I apologize my bad English, okay? But I try to speak slowly. And uh, okay. So <coughs> this is a joint work with with my my friends of of UFAO, Federal University of, of Alagoas, Márcio Batista and Feliciano Vittorio. Um, okay, uh, I'd like to talk about some some integral inequalities. And in this topic I to like to see some how how this int integral okay how how this int int, int integral he, he, he just to is to study ab, ab, about the geometry and the topology of 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 certain Riemann manifolds okay in this in this in this top some of the most no integral inequalities are the are the Sobolev, okay, and Hardy and Hellish. This is the first part of of a bigger paper when we stu when we study the Kaffarelli Nirenberg inequalities. This inequality inv involves almost all other classical inequalities. Okay, for example, Nash Moser and Galliado Nirenberg inequalities. <coughs> okay, uh, first, uh, this is the Sobolev inequality, it's very classical, okay? And uh, one of the application is, of course, the Sobolev embedding and the isoperimetric inequality. And uh, I'd like to think ab about what's the influence of, the, of this inequality for, for high co-dimension. For example, here we have the, the, the isoperimetric inequality. And this is very classical. We, we can bound the, <coughs> the area with the with the length of this curve, but in high co-dimension, this is not possible anymore, because if we if if uh, I I mean R three, we can consider a sub a surface that uh, this is bigger, or the area is bigger and bigger and bigger, but fix the fix the boundary. So it's not possible anymore to, to bound the area with the, with the boundary of, of the surface. But the Michael Simon inequality or Hoffman Spurk in inequality, we can see that, that this area is, is bounded by the, the length of this curve plus something about the mean curvature of the surface. This is the, this is the isoperimetric inequality for high co-dimension, okay? That's the inequality. So that's the Sobolev inequality for high co-dimension. And this is a universal constant, as in the classical Sobolev inequality, okay? This is a, a very important uh, in, in, in inequality. For example, we can show that if the mean curvature has LP norm, it has finite LP norm, we can see that all the ends have infinite volume. Okay? This, is a, this, is a, this is a very interesting result of Katia Frenzel, for example, okay? Uh, this, is the, this, is the, this is the isoperimetric inequality, and uh, we, we, we see that the, the volume of N 
is is bounded by its boundary and uh, and its mean curvature. But this constant, the best constant of this classical inequality, is open. Is open even for minimal surface in R three. This is this is a, a very interesting. Uh, there is a sorry. Uh, a student for Pierre Ponsou who has a, a good result up, up, up about this, this topic, but this, this problem, even an open problem, okay? So, <clears throat> in the context, uh, we think about, for example, the hard and hellish inequality for high codimension. What can what we can say about this 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 classical inequality okay this is the topic of this of this of, the, of this talk and the classical hard inequality is is 1920 by hard was a was an integral in in inequality for for one dimension okay and uh, this is a uh, this inequality sharp, and 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 a tiny if and only if f is zero, okay. But for high codimension, this is this is a classical in inequality in in the in the hard here wood and poly, okay book. And we, we 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 have this inequality, okay. And this constant is for the Euclidean space, okay, is sharp and never attain unless f equals zero. But uh, the most interesting, the, what we we have here, is that. Although uh, for for the Sobolev inequality, the 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 constant for high codimension is an open problem, but here the constant for high codimension is the same of the Euclidean, okay, the the Euclidean constant. So the First result ab ab about this 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 hard in inequality was given by Gilles Caron, who who proved that we we have this the same constant as the as the Euclidean space, and here we have an isometric immersion in Hadamard space, but here uh, this 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 the surface M it should be complete and non compact okay r is the is the extrinsic distance function okay so we we have that inequality that's a very important inequality in for gilles Caron. and for example one direct application is about some operator okay we have that this is no negative um <coughs> When the ambient space is is not Euclidean, for example, is the hyperbolic space, for example, this constant isn't any more sharp. Okay, this is a good paper about Luciumari, uh, Rigoli, and Bianchini. Okay. All right, um, there is some difference about our theorem and the gilles cahons theorem. Okay, oh, sorry. Okay, the first res 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 result we we have is a is a is a is a hard inequality, but uh, but for Gilles Caron, was n the aim need to be complete and non compact, and or inequality, aim is compact with boundary. Possible empty set, but. But it's more general. So we have M compact with boundary, okay? 
I, I have here the extrinsic distance and P some, some, some constant, adequate constant, okay? And this is very interesting be, because we have an, op, on, an operator that, that can be applied, for example, for self-shrinker immersion. Right? We can see that uh, when, when I have some self-shrink, we, we, can, we can turn this inequality zero, for example, just an example. And this is the positive and negative part of this operator, okay? So we have that inequality. This is positive, and it is in a good part of that inequality, so we can forget about it, okay? So we have that the Euclidean constant, that's the function bounded by its gradient, okay? And here we have a boundary component, okay? This is a, that's the, that's a, a hard inequality. And, and here, th this is for any P greater than or equal than one, but for P greater than one, the equality holds if and only if C equals zero. This is the same version of the original hard inequality, okay? The, equ the equality for P greater than one is a time if and only if F equals zero. Um, this oper this operator depends only on the on the normal bundle, okay, of this of this immersion. So if 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 m is minimal, this is zero, or, or for zero codimension, c zero, okay. <coughs> uh, for example, this inequality gen gen generalizes Cajon's in in inequality. Because this is positive, so we can forget ab ab about it, and this is less than r plus the the norm of the mean curvature. So we can compare this inequality with the Cajon inequality. Sorry, here we see that this this inequality is a special case of our inequality. Okay, but our inequality contains a boundary component that's very interesting in applications. All right. I'd like to see some application about this, this inequality. The first application we have here is about the Laplacian of the M. We have the extrinsic diameter and a uh, compact mass submanifold with any codimension, okay, in a, in a Hadamard space. So we have the first uh, eigenvalue is, is bounded by this, this, this portion, okay? Um, I think that this, this inequality is very interesting about the first eigenvalue of the Laplacian. And the proof is very, very, very simple when I use a uh, hard inequality. That's simple, okay? First, we take a function, non-zero and zero on the boundary, okay? So I am suppose that the boundary is not empty, okay? And y y using our hard inequality with gamma zero and p equals two, okay? We see that inequality. But uh, Psi hmm. for gamma equals zero, okay? Is this inequality, but of course, we have this is greater or equal than, the, than that here. So we have that. But Psi is arbitrary, so we can divide here and obtain uh, the 
okay, the lower bound of the first term convergent. This is very simple, okay? All right. Uh, there is an, an, an another application for self-shrink, okay? We can show that the that the extreme the s is the the extrinsic distance, okay, is has a, a, a um, um, has a lower bound, okay, but is but it's not here in this in this talk, but this paper will appear in, in journal differential equation this year. We can see that part, okay. About the hellish inequality, hellish inequality is very classical, but much less studied than hard inequality. I see, I saw some application of hard in inequality, for example, in astrophysical and uh, a sort of other subjects. Hard inequality is very, very interesting, okay? But about the hellish inequality, this is the classical, the original version of, of of health in, in, inequality in a, in a proceeding of ICM in Amsterdam. And uh, for example, there is a, we can use this inequality for, for high order PDEs, for example. And uh, this is, the, this is the, the more general hard health inequality, sorry, and this is this constant is sharp and never attained unless p equals zero. This sharp, of course, this this constant is not so beautiful <laughs> as the hard inequality, but this is a good constant. But we we are able to general to generalize this this inequality for high codimension. And we have the same constant. This is very, this is very interesting because the Sobolev, the 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 Euclidean constant in general is on only occur when m is isometric to to the R n. For example, when the heat curvature is is greater or equal than zero. Okay, we can see that. But for but for hard and hellish inequality, we also we all, always have the, the the same Euclidean constant for high codimension. Okay. And uh, uh, inequality for hellish for hellish is the same. We have we have positive constant, and A is the same positive R Davis and Hinz, right? And uh, we have the same op operator here, and we have that the the hellish the hellish inequality, and we have very interesting. We have the boundary t t term here. Okay, so this is b this is interesting because we it's not it's not anymore necessary to assume, for example, th that PC. <laughs> Has a comp uh, has perceived energy before the boundary. Eh? We can assume, for example, that P C is zero only on the boundary. Okay, and we have the we have this inequality with the, with with this part equals zero. All right, this constant is explicitly all right. We have the same constant as as the classical inequality for A, but we have B and this, this op operator now we have here, for, for example, the gradient of C. So we can study, for example, about the, the Neumann condition. We have a, a lot of application here. And here this is the other part. All right, and we have the same conclusion for p equals one. The equality holds if and long only if equals zero. But we can ask about what occur in the equality case for p equals one. For p equals one, this 
the quality of color here if and only if, of course, with some, with some assumption. Uh, we will talk ab, ab, ab about this later. But we have that the quality occur if and only if the Laplacian of C is less or equal than zero. This is interesting. And for hard inequality, the quality for P equals one, if and only if PC is de depends only of the radius R and, the, and is decreasing, all right? We, we will see about that. Okay, for example, we can see when, when this part is zero, when gamma equals to P, when we have the classical hard inequality, okay? We have that. This function is bounded by its Laplacian, okay? And the constant is, is, the, is the same with gamma, with gamma equals to P, when we have the same of the of the classical Hellish constant here in A and the other in the other constant here, okay? And we have the same rigid, we, we, uh, we have the same rigidity, okay? So I'd like to discuss about the proof of the hard inequality, okay? First, I use for uh, the 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 Hessian comparison theorem, for example, uh, when when we have the extrinsic distance, but now I'm I'm assuming that M bar the ambient is Hadamard, okay? So the sectional curvature is less or equal than zero, but but this this Hessian is more general. We only need to assume that the radial curvature is less or equal than zero. And, uh, and we have this comparison and the equality occur if and only if we have that the radial, the radial curvature equals to zero. So for convenience in, in, this, in this paper, I use the, the radial vector field here, okay? That's the R and the, and the gradient with the ambient space of R, okay? And we have that. And of course, the, the quality, because we have this, this part, just the divergence here is, is the product of the gradient and R times the divergence of this. And we have that the quality occur if and only if the radial curvature equals to zero. So for, for some student here, the radial curvature is simple, okay? This is some autonomous vector fields and this is the curvature tensor of the ambient space, right? This is the geodesk, okay? The radial geodesk from C0, all right. So this is, and uh, and amazing that that the proof of of the of the hard and hellish inequality is elementary, is much much simple than the Sobolev in inequality for submanifold. For example, for 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 Hoffman Sperky on Michael Simon inequality, we 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 need to to e, e, e use a Bezikovich argument. And it's not necessary here, okay? Just, just simple computation, okay? For example, we can we can use this 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 fact, okay? To prove, for example, here, this is simple. Just to decompose the C times that divergence and the product of this, uh, this gradient and this, and this vector field. Here, uh, we, we use the Gauss equation. This is, this is the tangent part when decomposed with, with the original part plus the mean curvature here, all right? This, this, is this, this is the same here. And now, 
I use the, the Hessian comparison theorem, okay, to, ob to, ob to obtain this part, all right? Um, so only that, and I can, I can, I can put this term together in the C, right? This is the, the, the way this, this term appears, C, this, only this, okay? We, we remember that X is R times the gradient of R, all right? So we can use that to, to put into C here. And, uh, <coughs> and the equality, of course, ho holds if and only if the radial curvature is zero. Uh, <coughs> so we can use, uh, here we can decompose the gamma into alpha plus beta plus one. This is very classical for hard inequality, right? So we, we have the same in inequality, but, but inst instead gamma, we, we, we use this alpha plus beta plus one. And I use here the Cauchy inequality and the Young, Young in, in inequality, but with a smart uh, trick, all right? So we can use Cauchy and Young inequality with epsilon. And we have that that inequality, right? Later we will see what occur with the equality, right? But we have that, and I will I will I will use here k plus beta equals gamma. That's very simple. Just to choose alpha and beta of this of this form, right? And uh, I will put something together, and and I will have this inequality. This is very simple with this function, right? Just a simple computation. All right. But this this function attain its maximum is very just to derive to derive and equals to zero to see that, right? And we have that. H reach its maximum and 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 this epsilon with H epsilon with this with this this is the this is almost the the Euclidean constant all right almost the Euclidean constant here so we we have that inequality all right we have that inequality and for example uh, this holds for p greater than one. Right, because I, I I use Minkowski and all the inequality, but in this point, all right, we can put p e equals to one, for example, just to just to tend it to one, for me, okay. But so we have this inequality for any p greater or equal to one, right? So we have some claim. But here is necess it's necessary that the k k is the is the dimension of m k minus gamma is positive. So so with with this hypothesis we have this claim even when zero zero not sorry zero uh, x zero is in m x zero is the base point of of the of the extrinsic distance. All right. So if in this this base point is in M, we can use that that divergence argument, right? This is very simple. If zero x zero sorry is is not in M, we can apply the the divergence theorem directly. And if x zero is M, we can consider a small regular value and apply the divergence theorem. Outside a uh, small ball around uh, around uh, R zero, all right? Sorry, okay, okay. Here, and uh, I'll, I'll have here, and this is a, a disjoint union, all right? This this is the boundary of of this part, and this is a disjoint union. I, I will have the first one, 
and this one we have this order r0 sorry so but but since k minus gamma is positive this goes to 0 this is the this is the argument so this this is important to obtain our inequality and uh, now i have that this is all right when v, of course, I use the the given theorem in that plan. This is this is the hard inequality. All right. Uh, the first part of the hard inequality is proved, but I'd like to talk about the quality case. How can I say about the quality case? The in the quality case with p greater than one, we will prove that c equals to zero. Okay. All right, and assume the equality case with p greater than one, and uh, <coughs> so we have the equalities in Cauchy and Jung in equality with this epsilon. In Cauchy, we have that the these two vector fields are are linear dependent. Okay. And with young inequality, we have that some equality. So, in the equality case, we have first the radial curvature equal to zero because the, that divergence, right? So we have the because the Cauchy inequality, but I, I comparing Cauchy inequality in the in the lower part, all right? The in a is greater than equal to just to re, just to remember okay uh, the Cauchy inequality I'm using Cauchy inequality here right this part equal to this part all right so in the lower part of the of the inequality okay we have that and we have that this is because the young young inequality so I use these three items to prove my the rigidity. The other part that P and K is related, of course, K equals to P P over P minus one. So we we have we we have that this this hum equals to the progress and act epsilon k is k minus, minus, minus gamma, so we have that, all right? This is because this, all right? It implies this. So we have that, and now it's simple to see that this equality implies that equality with this assumption, right? So we have this. Now, with this equality, what we we see that the x now is is tangent to m because because the normal part of this of this vector field is zero so x so x is tangent in in the support right now i, I will assume that 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 this this w is not empty so I will, I will derive a contradiction. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So, of course, if x is tangent, this tangent part is 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 that gradient. So we can use in this. We can divide p c here. So we have the gradient of the log of p c. And here we have the constant with this gradient, so we have that that this gradient is zero in W, right? Hence, uh, I'll have that th this is always positive, right? This imply, of course, this W is always positive in M because M is compact. So, so. This is always positive in its extension, right? So P C is positive everywhere in M. In and the 
this is the equality assumption, of course, okay? And uh, this is zero, all right? Because x is tangent, right? And uh, this is zero. And this equals this, so we have that this divergence is zero. All right? This, this implies that, that's zero. And this equals that part in, in, the, in the previous slide. We have that this divergence is zero in M, everywhere in M. So we can use this and do a direct computation to see that with this information, right? But this is zero, so x squared equals to one. Oh, this is a contradiction. This is a contradiction because the tangent part is zero, right? And this, so if x equals zero, this is a contradiction, right? So, so this is a contradiction, then W is empty set. Or as, or as is W is not empty set, we'll, we'll derive a contradiction. So W is empty set, so we have that W equals zero everywhere in M. So our theorem is proven. This is very, very simple, right? Okay. <clears throat> the, quality, the quality case in hard inequality for P equals one is trivial. So I assume in this ambient space, right? And uh, I assume that the boundary né, is contained in, the, in, the, in, in some hypersphere. So the quality case in theorem one for people occur if and only if the function is radial and decreasing, not, incre not increasing, okay? And, and for the, for the Hallish, Inequality, we, we have the same assumption, and the equality occur if and only if we have that the Laplacian is less or equal to zero. Super harmonic, all right? Um, I will give some idea to this proof. It's very simple because we have that inequality for P equals one, of course, and. Uh, <coughs> And for and we 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 have this inequality for p equals one, so this is direct, and just compare this equality with this inequality, right? And uh, so I obtain that. And of course, the equality here implies this this equals to zero. But if this equals to zero, because it's greater than or equal to zero, this integrand, so we have that the equality of core if and only if we have that. That's very simple, okay? So the proof of the Hellish inequality is, is almost the same, but more difficult than hard inequality, right? So it's possible to prove with the same spirit. Okay, that's all. I think that this is. Thank you, Wilson. So maybe.